Hello and welcome back to Active Communications a series of videos on the basic use of IBMS 4200 software platform. Um, we've looked at uh, how to log on and main view, uh, looking at live video cameras. Uh, today we're going to look at remote playback. Again, uh, you just need to be in this screen here. Click on that top left hand corner icon and that will bring you back to this screen. Click on remote playback and that brings up this screen here. Uh, it might vary slightly uh, depending on how your uh, system is set up, uh, but it should be uh, similar. So what I'm going to do, click on single screen, drag this camera into the square, and you see that's just basically starting from midnight uh, today. Uh, whatever day you're on, it will just it'll just give you today's date. Um, and as you can see, um, it's just playing at normal speed. Um, my camera's set up to record constantly, uh, therefore it's completely blue. I can drag that forward, see there? It's going to one o'clock in the morning, two o'clock in the morning, three o'clock in the morning, four o'clock in the morning. So let's look at four o'clock, just coming up to four o'clock. If I let go, there we go. It's playing at you know, a minute to, to four. Uh, and you're reviewing what's going on. One of the features a lot of the later cameras have are human and vehicle uh, detection built in. So if I click this now, you'll notice some orange lines appear on the blue line. That basically says that it's likely that there was a human walked into this scene. Obviously I live on quite a busy street when it gets to six, seven o'clock in the morning, as you can see here, it goes pretty much orange all the time because there's always someone walking past where I live. Overnight, it becomes less busy, uh, certainly at four o'clock in the morning. It looks like it's fairly quiet. Uh, not so many people walking about. What I can do is zoom in. So these two buttons here, the plus and the minus, allow you to zoom in and out of the timeline. At the moment, we're looking from midnight, 100 hours up to four o'clock in the afternoon. If you notice every time I click this button, it zooms in a bit more. So now we're looking from four o'clock to five o'clock and back to just about an hour, three o'clock. But as you can see, uh, where there's blue, there's basically uh, the way the camera's analyzing, it can't see any humans in that screen. So if I drag this forward and let go just before this orange piece, someone, will walk through that scene so if someone's just walked out there really useful if you're looking to see what's happened uh, obviously in a, in a bit of a quiet area um, it, it's, it's way more useful in a busy area during the day it's not a lot of use because it's just going to pick up everyone but overnight pretty useful uh, again I can go up to the next one and you'll see and you'll see someone else walk along in a minute They're actually cycling, but it is still a human. Um, also, you have vehicle. Again, live on a busy road, it's constant. So again, you know, uh, I'm gonna get, you're gonna just see car after car after car when you press on this one. So there goes a car coming along. But again, if you're in a quieter area and you only get the odd car every hour, super useful to, to pick out when uh, those events happen. Obviously, if I come, during the day that is constant because there's there's always a car so it's all pre-alerts and post alerts so you know they just overlap all the time so you're gonna have a vehicle going past continuously pretty much okay let's turn that off again the line goes blue that's just looking at today say for instance you want to look at what happened uh, a couple of days ago if you go up into the top left hand corner uh, and click on uh, let's say we want to look at Sunday the 17th to Monday the 18th uh, just while we're here those little blue triangles that lets you know that there's footage recorded on those days if there's no triangle so the fourth there's no footage on those days for this camera uh, so that means either it wasn't recording or um, it started to write over um, you, you can actually set it to only record for seven days 14 days 30 days or whatever 
Uh, so have you got it set up? It will let you know when uh, his recordings or not. So what I've said is from the 17th at midnight to the 18th at midnight, uh, or minute to midnight that later, that's two days worth of footage. If I click OK, now you'll see up here the 17th and 18th, um, and then we can just play around in those two days and look for whatever. There we go. And again, we can zoom in. So say for instance, I want to uh, download some footage. So for instance, that car there. If I now click this icon here, if I now right click, click download, it's actually started at that time. So where we're at now, and it's just gone for uh, you know, quite a long period. That's the next day. Be quite careful because uh, that, that's going to be quite a big file. So well, we, we don't want to do that. We want to go back to the 17th or the 7th, the same day. And then we want to get the time. So 1953, let's just take that to 8 o'clock. I quite like the way they do that. It makes it nice and easy. And you can just click up by seconds if you want, or minutes or hours, whatever. So if I click OK on that, so that's from uh, the 17th of the 7th to the 17th of the 7th, 1953.07, this to 20, 100 hours. Uh, you can download the player each time. Uh, if you don't click that, you just need to make sure that you have a player uh, available uh, when you want to play it. So if I click OK, that starts to download in the background. If you click up here on the download icon, that will show you the progress. So it's 51%, 63%, 75%, 86%, 87%, 99 And that's done. And it's told you it's complete. Um, again, in the settings, we can define where that footage is downloaded to. Okay. In the next video, we will look at how to play back that video and, and look at it but essentially that's how you um, download a piece of footage there's also um, we can download for multiple cameras similar sort of idea and if, if we have we've only got one camera so it's difficult to <laughs> download for multiple cameras but if we had uh, camera one two three four five we could click camera one three and five and then it will download from all of those it can be the same time or you can have individual times uh, it's quite a good way of batch downloading also this is quite an interesting button as well again we've only got one camera so it's not of, uh, of any relevance but you've got synchronous playback and asynchronous playback so synchronous playback is generally what I would recommend you keep it on so that's the arrows if you look the arrows are uh, sort of facing each other that in asynchronous and synchronous they're, they're the same so that means if you've got two cameras and you're playing back it will play back the same time and so so you'll see the same thing from all cameras at the same time um, and that's quite useful if you're doing an investigation and you've got two or three cameras in different positions you'll be viewing what's happening so if someone walks off of one camera onto another one and to another one and then back again you'll see that look quite uh, smooth and interesting and that makes it easier to to carry out an investigation uh, like I said we haven't got uh, any additional cameras here but put the division of four and you have one two three four and the synchronous you make sure that's done you just control one video and then it plays back uh, the others as well at the same time it's quite a useful feature okay um, it's always quite useful to stop playback so I generally close all close that uh, otherwise it will just sit there playing in the background if you leave it. Um, it it's just using up some of your resources that you don't necessarily need to um, but I hope you found that useful. Uh, if you've got any questions, please post in the comments and uh, please subscribe. Thank you very much for watching.